I'm just seeing what will happen when we ship in Canada and all the cold places if it's left outside or anything so this is some testing. Okay, so I had the resin and hardener in our freezer for over 24 hours. Here they are. Resin and hardener. Resin, it still looks clear, but it's like really thick honey. And the hardener is the same. It's not quite as hard. They both didn't get hard like water though. I'm just gonna let these sit right here and let them naturally um, de-thaw, I guess. and then I'll mix it and see if we still have a good product. Okay, Canada test continues. So it's been only about 20 minutes that I came back and looked, and this material is already quite runny. So I could probably mix it right now, but resin is easiest to work with when it's warm. It still stays perfectly clear. I'll still mix it to make sure it cures properly, but we should be okay in Canada. Okay, so this is about one hour after I took it out of the freezer. I'm just leaving it at room temperature. Resin. So it's perfectly clear. It's just uh, a lot thicker. And then the hardener is thinner than the resin. And how clear it is. We're good. All right, I'll stir this up then show you. Perfect. We'll see how that cures, but there's no bubbles and it's perfectly clear. So it's been about a week since I did this. The art resin has no bubbles in it. This is uh, acrylic paint and some ink. And it's rock hard, there's no bubbles. So that's the results then. If you freeze art resin, the resin and the hardener unmixed, and then let it thaw off room temperature, you can still use it and there doesn't seem to be any effect on the chemical reaction. It seems to turn out fine. So there you go, now we know. It's good to know that when the resin gets really cold, it doesn't ruin it. So um, Canada, we're okay.